One other thing I want to share with you is the Flumi. It's also called an e-wand. And this is a way that you can start your gong practice by setting the gong off in a certain vibration. This is the tool that gets the whales and dolphin sounds, which you might have heard in other people's gong bars. And a lot of people are like, wow, what's that? What is it? This is the secret tool. You hold that with your thumb and your first finger quite tight, and then you just use it across the gong. And you let it play out for a little bit, and then you can do it again. And you can see how it stops in different vibrations. So you might have a certain sound and think, oh, that sounds lovely. I'm going to use that sound and then get my mallet and build on that, that sound that it's already created. It's a really nice way to, to build on it. But if you don't have a flumi, it doesn't matter. And the other thing I just want to emphasize again is if you're listening to this module and you don't have your own gong, please carry on listening to them and imagining that you're playing with your own gong because you cannot learn enough about how to play the gong. And the more that you play, the more you want to experiment with different things. And it more, the more you, you play, the more it makes sense. So by listening and having that repetition, you can keep learning, 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 and I encourage you to keep re revisiting these modules.